Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at rounding numbers. Now, this is part two of this little short video series um, of the bigger numeracy core requisite um, series. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So in the previous video, we were looking at um, place value in hundreds and thousands and so on. Now we've got a slightly different language change, and that is the tenth. And we've got a thousandth. If you notice right at the end of those questions, there's a little uh, th there. Um, there you go, thousand, thousand, tenth. And then I think we've got um, the last question, which is a hundredth. So what does that actually mean? Like, uh, folks, uh, I know when people do this question, they always get it mixed up. Like, I mean, they see 53.279 and they think tenth, tens column is uh, somewhere here. Now, I think this is what people get mixed up with right now. The five is actually in the tens column. What we're looking for is the tenth column. And it's so, so many times I've seen people do this mistake. They always think that the tenth is actually um, highlighted in yellow. And this is a common misconception. All right, it's actually not there. The tenth is, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight things in a different way here so you can kind of, see everything first and then we can um, go through all of these questions at the same time so the because i'm looking for the tenth the tenth value is actually the number right after the decimal because you know how you have in place values you've got ones you've got tens and then hundreds and it keeps going but when you go after the decimal point you don't actually have a oneth all right you actually have a tenth a hundredth a thousandth and so on so if i look at that hundredth one at the bottom there so notice how this is a hundredth. Uh, I'm actually looking for up to that decimal. And then if I look at, um, what else do we have? We've got a thousandth. Thousandth is actually up to there. Thousandth is up to there. And then we've got another tenth, which is gonna be up to there. So that's just something that um, you folks need to remember. So remember that um, if I have something like uh, 234, 0 0.234, then I can say that 0 0.234, so basically this is the 10th, this is the 100th, this is in the 1000th. All right, so hopefully um, you folks can actually kind of see what's happening there. All right. So if that's the case, we've got rounding 53.279 to the nearest tenth. And once again, just like how we did in part one of the series, we're gonna look at the number right after the highlighted number. So in this case, it is seven, which is actually above five. So we're gonna round this number up. So the actual answer for this question is gonna be 53.3. Question two, if you look at it, we've got four as the thousandth. Um, and then if we look at the number right after the four, it happens to be a seven. So we're going to round this up. So we're gonna get 56.82. And you know, we're gonna round up, round it up. So that four actually changes to a five. And then if you look at question three, so we've got 32.61. And then we're gonna look at the value after the highlighted number. Now in this case, it's five. And remember when it's five and above, we actually round it up. So in this case, it will be rounding up to 32.619. Looking at question four, we've got 44.92. And if you look at the number right after the nine, it is two. It's actually below five. And because it's below five, uh, we're gonna actually just, um, we're not gonna round it up. Instead, we just write this as 44.9. And finally, looking at uh, question five, we've got 56.4273. Once again, we're gonna look at the number that is right after the highlighted number. In this case, it's a seven. And because it's a seven, it's above five, so we would need to round this number up. So we're gonna go 56.43. So as you would have noticed, I mean, this is the tenths column. This is the thousandths column, thousandths column. And then we have another tenths column and then we have a hundreds column. So I've actually rounded the numbers up to the nearest um, whatever it's that the questions is actually asked. So that's just a, a really quick intro into rounding numbers, especially when dealing with um, tens, thousands, hundreds, and so on. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, 
and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.